the solution's called Crashing Grace. I can't help but think of Charlie XCX's crash, but no, it's not that at all. Except maybe a smidge, if you tilt your head a certain way. <laughs> the figure has come to an abrupt halt, yet there is an art to it. With its arms pinned beneath its body, the foremost, by a leg directly on top of the arm, as the body is brought down, and mirrors the look of a parachute swelling with air, falling to the ground. So the landing is soft. The furthermost leg is extended with a ballet dancer's sort of contrived poise, and the leg wraps around the body, framing the falling head. Sleek and aerodynamic, only the figure's hands are raised slightly behind the body. You can just make out the hole in one palm as the fingers twitch with unrest. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's a better rendered stagnant piece, although it is stationary, I think... It looks a buzz with energy and potential, which is a sort of one and the same, depending on how you perceive it. This figure is down, but not defeated. I can't remember if I conceptualized this while watching Nope. I said before, I drew a lot, four to five pages in my sketchbook while I half watched the movie, but it reminds me a bit of the alien. The tarp, flat stingray likeness of its body, but humanoid, you know? And I... I I think good art is a marriage of influences, life, emotion, media, culture, both popular and sub, which goes back to life in general. I've been painting without listening to music or YouTube videos in the background, so I feel like I'm better focused, and I think for me to properly execute smaller paintings, that's what's necessary. And I mentioned that because yesterday, the 6x6 canvas paper pad I ordered arrived, and it's intimidating in appearance because it's literally the size of my hand. Perfectly. Like, when I put my hand over it, I was like, this is my hand. I'm nearing the end of this 8x8 canvas paper pad, but I want to keep challenging myself, and working on smaller pieces really does that for me. I have a really steady stream of ideas, so I know with composition, there is going to be a perplexing convergence of style, stories, and execution. Going forward, at least. That's what I hope. I've been feeling a bit of post-book depression, or maybe post-book hangover is a better word, since I finished The King of Fairy and more recently, From Here to Eternity, Traveling the World to Find Good Death. The latter, I won't say too much about. That's another video. Whenever I finish books, I have this habit that, like, when I really enjoy them, I feel both happy for the completion on the sense of closure that it gives me, but then it's like, wait, it's over. I didn't, maybe, I fear, like, I didn't cherish the story like I should have. I didn't dog ear enough pages or underline enough, so I'm not really taking anything away from it like I should. And one of the things, I don't know, maybe it's a habit, is, like, I really like to merge with stuff. Like, I don't know. I was like, this needs to be, I mean, something has to come of this. Who knows what that is? What would you even call that? But, like, when I think about it, it's like a person, the author, could have spent upwards to a year in some cases, to write a book, I devoured in, like, I think my average is, like, one to three days, depending on the book and, you know, uh, the day's agenda. There's, it, that's, an, that's a very, it's a big imbalance, you know, but is there really a balance to find? So maybe this painting is that feeling, because that's what I think I'm feeling now. That's what I felt. <laughs> Anyway, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.